Scotia Bank and Hand in Hand Ministries extended the gift of kindness on Thursday when they officially presented a family of Mahogany Street extension with a new house. Landy Salazar is the client relationship manager at Scotia Bank. It took us almost two years to raise the necessary funds and then eventually we got some additional support from the bank itself. Um, more than, I'd say, uh, 60 of the staff um, assisted in trying to raise about twenty odd thousand dollars which helped us to build the first house um, uh, about a year ago and now this this second house. Salazar says the selection process is carried out by Hand in Hand Ministries. They have a long list of, of people that have requested the assistance and we would get a short list and visit the, the homes and see which ones we know will make a we will have a, a bigger impact on. And luckily for Jean Guzman, she was chosen this time. I feel happy. <laughs> I feel quite happy. From the time I get this house, I've nothing like her own, they always say, right? But before receiving the house, not everything was sugar and spice for this single mother of six. Before this, that the how it may look, right? Yeah. I try my best in years, right? And I go to government, then I try things to help me. I tie it up and down, tie it up and down. I work hard and I work fair, I leave it a money. Sometimes I'm all cry when I reach home and I sit down. When I think about the salary I collect weekend, when I look at it, I say, my God, I say what I could do in my life. My last chance is I, um, I can talk to somebody who look like them build house fair. Hands in hands will host to this person and this person tell me about hands in hands and I saw I make a step and go into hands in hands and I saw when I reach there they tell me where I could go and that's how I make the step and that's how I be able to get in and go through the procedure and so that's how I end up giving my house. Amazingly, the house was built in just two days, in this case under heavy rainfall. Bernard Panton, the director of the Building for Change program under which the house came to be, told us about the building process. Well, it's done by sections, right? And we use uh, manpower, so it's a lot of people. So we'd have um, at least 20 or 25 people working, about 10, 10 at a time, 10 at a group. And we have a construction coordinator and an assistant who knows to build a house. So the group only has to know to maybe drive a nail or pass a board or cut, cut a board or do some measurements. And so he gives them instructions and they build. And building by sections, you build the deck. You build the walls and then you raise the walls that are already built on the ground. So that's the, the, the um, procedure. No? And it but he says the job of Hand in Hand Ministries is not only to provide people with a new house. When, when we build, our, our objective is actually building family. So we, the house is a vehicle. So when we build a house for a family, a group comes in, does the building in three days, they're gone. But then we also follow them like we have social workers working with us and we follow families. For her part, Guzman says having a new house has enlightened her mind and made her be more positive about the future, something she wishes for many others who are less fortunate. When I walk the street and I see situation like where I may live, I would want to go to them and tell them, say, make them make a step and go to hands in hands and yeah, brighter than future to feeling kids to secure bright minds. And her good wishes might just come true because Salazar says they are looking forward to continue building. I think that eventually we will we'll try to see how we can raise further funds, get some, some uh, additional support from our head office uh, again and see if we can continue this you know, on an annual basis or maybe every two years. And if you try a little kindness, then you overlook the blindness. Reporting for Love News, I am Natalie Novello.